Welcome back. I'm Pastor Lisa here on Your Kingdom Kids, and I'm so excited. We're going to continue on talking about the book of Luke. We are going to talk about Luke chapter 7 and 8 today. Earlier, we've already discussed fear. We created a little bubbly experiment about fear. We created a laser maze of temptation. And the other day, we decided whether or not our foundation was firm and planted on the rock. But today, we are going to read Luke chapters 7 and 8. And as I read it, I noticed that there is a theme throughout it, and it is the theme of faith. So we're going to talk about faith and what faith actually is and how we can have faith in God and miraculous things will happen. And as always, we're going to create an object lesson about faith at the end. And today's object lesson is going to be faith in a jar or fireworks in a jar. So it's going to be real fun. Stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, go ahead and grab your Bibles and turn to Luke chapter 7. And once you get there, you're going to see the title, Faith of the Centurion. And what centurion is, it's just a fancy word for a Roman officer. So in these times, Rome occupied Israel. And so the Roman officers were there occupying the territory. And here we have this Roman officer who we know is actually a pretty good man because he has a slave who he adores and obviously treats pretty well. And his slave is unfortunately very, very sick and near death. And so hearing these miraculous stories about Jesus and how he has healed countless people, he sends some of his friends to go get Jesus and bring him to his house to heal his slave. Now, before Jesus can get to his house, he sends a friend and tells Jesus, Lord, don't trouble yourself by coming to my home, for I am not worthy of such an honor. I am not even worthy to come and meet you. Just simply say the word where you are, and my servant will be healed. I know this because I am under authority of my superior officers, and I have authority over my soldiers. I only need to say, go, and they go. Come, and they come. And if I say to my slaves, do this, they do it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed. Turning to the crowd that was following him, he said, I tell you the truth, I haven't seen faith like this in all of Israel. See, this officer understood authority. He understood authority because he himself was under authority. If his officer told him to go do something, he went and did it. That's how authority works. See, authority like faith, we can't see it, but it operates throughout our society. We know that it's there because we see the evidence of it. And just like if he tells someone underneath him, hey, go and do this, they have to do it. That's how authority works. And so the centurion recognized that Jesus operated under authority and that he had authority over sickness. And if he decreed it, that sickness would have to leave. So what do you guys think happened? In verse 10, when the officer's friends returned to the house, they found the slave completely healed. Isn't that incredible? Completely healed. Why? Because of faith. Because he had faith in Jesus, that Jesus would do the miraculous. Hebrews 11.1 1 says, faith shows the reality of what we hope for. Faith is the evidence of our hope. That's what faith is. And when we partner faith with Jesus, something miraculous happens. Shortly after this, something even more miraculous happened. Jesus is at a nearby village and guess what? He interrupts a funeral. A young man passed away and they are having a funeral procession for him. And Jesus sees this and is moved with compassion. And he prays and in faith, he commands the dead boy to wake up and guess what? He woke up and he began to talk. Can you imagine if you're at this funeral and all of a sudden the boy sits up and starts talking? That would be pretty miraculous, right? That's what happens when we have faith. Amazing things happen. So flip the page and we're gonna focus on Luke chapter eight now. Now, once again, I am not gonna get to everything. There is so much in chapter seven and eight that I'm gonna have to skip over, but please take some time, read it at home for yourself and you're gonna find so much more in it. In chapter eight, we find another story of great faith. In verse 22, it says, one day Jesus said to his disciples, 
let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they got into a boat and started out. As they sailed across, Jesus settled down for a nap, but soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real serious danger. And where do you think Jesus was in all this? Well, the Bible tells us that he is sleeping in the boat while, while the boat is starting to sink. And so in verse 24, the disciples went down and woke him up shouting, Master, Master, we're going to drown. When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and the raging waves. Suddenly, the storm stopped and all was completely calm. Then he asked them, where is your faith? In the previous story, Jesus had authority over sickness. But now in this story, he also has authority over the weather. He has authority over the wind and the waves. Wow, how did he do that? Through faith, Jesus has authority. And this is his response to his disciples. Where is your faith? Right? This tells us that he assumes that they can do the same thing he did if only they have faith. So what can we do if we have faith? We can do miraculous things just like Jesus did. Following Jesus rebuking the storm, he did several other amazing acts of great faith. He spoke to a demon-possessed man, and he rebuked the demon, cast it out, and then it went into a bunch of pigs. True story. It's crazy. I encourage you to read it. And then he heals a woman who was sick and bleeding for 12 years on his way to go heal another person. But that person dies, and instead of just healing them, he raises that little girl to life. This is incredible. All of this is through faith. See, faith is powerful. And when we have faith in Jesus, nothing is impossible. The sick can be healed, a storm can be rebuked, a little girl can be raised back to life. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do our object lesson on faith today, AKA faith in a jar also known as fireworks in a jar, which is what happens when you partner faith with God, miraculous things happen. So today what you'll need is you'll need a clear jar so you can see what's going on inside it. And you'll wanna fill it about three quarters of the way full with just some uh, room temperature water. And then you'll need some oil, food coloring, uh, maybe a fork to stir, and you'll also want some paper towels around in case that food coloring drips out anywhere. So here we have the oil and that represents our prayer life. The food coloring is going to represent faith in Jesus. And we're going to go ahead and drop just small amounts of our faith in our prayer life, in the oil. Luke 17, 6 says, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea and it will obey you. So though these drops are super small, they're going to do miraculous things. So our faith may be small, but it can do miraculous things. And we're going to go ahead and pour our faith into our water mixture. And we're going to combine our faith with God. And when we do that, something miraculous occurs fireworks happen. And so this is just a reminder that when we partner with God in faith, anything is possible. Miracles can happen. And I truly believe that. Well, I've had a lot of fun today. Uh, if you like this, go ahead and click like, uh, subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss anything. And also make sure you click in the description and you check out our other object lessons. So stay tuned for more. There's more coming your way. Bye.